They say every day is for the thief, one day for the owner of the house. But ICPC, the Anti-Corruption Commission, has reversed the role. It is now every day for the owner of the house. If you're involved in bribery, over-invoicing, or any shady deal, the day of reckoning has come. ICPC, the Anti-Corruption Commission, is watching you. If you're reported for any corrupt practice, you'll be investigated, prosecuted, and punished. Corruption is harmful to our nation. Join the campaign against it by reporting any corrupt practice to ICPC, the Anti-Corruption Commission. Let me join hands with ICPC, make them better. Let's make Nigeria great again. ICPC, they want to. Come on, hands for corruption. Break the chain of corruption now. Don't give, don't take. This message is brought to you by ICPC, the Anti-Corruption Commission. Hello and welcome to another edition of Corruption Must Go, ICPC's weekly television program. I am your host, Muruna Barnabas Atiai. In its effort to ensure and sustain active students' participation in the fight against corruption, ICPC introduced a series of initiatives in schools to instill an abhorrence for corrupt practices among students and to encourage them to strive to be people of integrity at all times. These initiatives include anti-corruption clubs for secondary schools, students' anti-corruption vanguards for tertiary institutions, national values curriculum which is being taught in schools, essay competitions, integrity lecture series, and many more. Today on the program, we'll bring you the inauguration of students' anti-corruption clubs in 30 schools within the Federal Capital Territory. Do stay with us as we bring you details shortly. Fellow Nigerians, do you know that constituency projects are actually your projects? Do you know that constituency projects are funded by the Federal Government? Do you know that you can track release of constituency project funds for projects located in your constituency and follow up to know how they have been executed? Constituency projects happen because government does not want to leave any community out in development efforts. You have a responsibility to know what constituency project has been planned for your community, how much has been allocated for it, and whether value for money has been delivered. Take ownership of constituency projects located in your community. Protect them because they belong to you. Government knows about your needs and is planning for you. Government needs your help to ensure quality delivery. Know that constituency projects are actually your projects. Protect your constituency project. My constituency, my project. For information on funds allocated to projects in your constituency, call 0800-2255-4272. This message is from the Independent Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offences Commission and the National Orientation Agency. We're glad you're still with us. Over the years, the Commission has launched anti-corruption clubs in more than 3,000 primary and secondary schools in the country as a means to spread the anti-corruption message to the students and school community. As part of efforts to reach out to more schools, ICPC recently inaugurated the clubs in 30 schools within the Federal Capital Territory. Speaking at the inauguration held at the Commission's headquarters, ICPC Chairman Dr. Musa Adamu Aliu SAN charged Nigerian students to step up and take their place as the agents of change that Nigeria desperately needs to stop corruption, especially in our schools. Delivering his keynote address, Dr. Aliu told the students, that since they witnessed first-hand incidences of corruption in schools, it was important for them to use their energy and strength to change the narrative. Corruption affects students, parents, teachers, the school system everywhere. Therefore, the fight against corruption is our responsibility, which we must share all. Let me explain briefly why your involvement the students is crucial. You know Nigeria hold a unique position in a society. You witness firsthand the corrupt practices occurring within our schools. From teachers, 
demanding bribes or sexual gratification for higher grades in the embezzlement of school funds, as well as abstaining from classes. These acts of corruption erode the foundation of our educational system. You have to stop corruption, that is you, youth, so that you are not merely observers or victims. You can act as whistleblowers, reporting corruption to relevant authorities like ICPC. By speaking out these wrong news, you become agent of change for ensuring accountability and transparency within our schools. Speaking further, the ICPC boss said that the clubs were meant to combat the challenges of corruption within our schools, especially as they are not immune to the challenges of corruption that have infiltrated the classrooms, mad examinations, and tarnished the reputation of the educational system. ICPC reaches out to students through the corruption clubs. These clubs serve as platforms for students to learn about the causes and consequences of corruption, engage in discussions and debates, and develop innovative strategies to combat this societal mess. The clubs are part of our efforts to entrench positive behavioral change in schools. Through the clubs, we empower our students to be agents of change, challenge the status quo, and demand accountability from those in authority. Earlier in her welcome address, the acting director of the Public Enlightenment and Education Department, Mrs. Azuka Ogugua, said students' anti-corruption clubs are set up by the commission in line with the provisions of Section 6 E to F of the Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offenses Act 2000. Mrs. Ogugua also said that ICPC has great plans for the youth which led to the development of the National Values Curriculum, which has been infused into some compulsory subjects taken by students up to YEC level. So in line with this Section 6 e to f of the ICPC Act, the Act says that we should mobilize, educate the public on and against corruption, and then mobilize the support of the public to fight corruption. That means we should be training you, right? and asking you to join us. Now, we recognize that when they are saying publics, they are not talking about only the adults. The act meant every single Nigerian, including children, students, youths, and that is why we have taken the time to gather you here. Delivering a paper on the place of ICPC students anti-corruption clubs in schools, the Deputy Director of Public Enlightenment and Education, Mr. John Odi, advise the students to be of good conduct at all times and to avoid telling lies, absenteeism, lateness to school. He further urged them to be good role models by maintaining discipline and order in their schools. Take a listen. Once you take the oath and you have paid your signatures, you have become anti-corruption champions in your school. If you are anti-corruption champions, it means you do not engage in any form of corruption whatsoever, including lie telling, class cutting, that is absenteeism from classes, exam practices, destruction of school property, jumping the school fence. Some of you are looking at me and saying, why? No jumping of school fence, no coming late to school, and most importantly, you will present a high moral standard. You will conduct yourself in a manner that confers respect on you, your school, your family, and the Nigerian state. You will be role models. We expect you to be role models to others through your conduct, actions, and even inactions. It is our belief in the ICPC that if you, our anti-corruption champions, are able to influence your peers who are doing wrong things, 
to turn a new leaf and begin to copy you and be like you and do the right things, eventually there will be no wrong in our schools. Even your teachers will take dressing and begin to conduct themselves properly if they were not doing so. Goodwill messages were delivered by the representative of the Director FCT Secondary Education Board, Mr. Itam, and the Deputy Director FCT Department of Science and Technology, Mrs. Josephine Bako. Take a listen. The schools that have uh, already been established, that is the anti-corruption club from ICPC, are also doing a lot in our schools. The students are distinguishing themselves. They are carrying out some anti-corruption um, activities, exposing some corrupt practices in our schools. And so we are very uh, encouraged. That's why when they came for more schools, we obliged them. We want to assure you, sir, of our continuous support and we'll always be there for you. Once again, we want to thank every one of you for being here and we welcome you and we believe that you'll have a wonderful time. The fight against corruption is a fight that everybody will fight to stand still until we overcome. You all know that nobody can back to a child and call that child corruption. There's no name like that. Is there any name like that? No, there's no name like that. So, corruption is a deliberate attempt, consciously, deliberately to choose to be corrupt. So you can decide not to as a student, as individual. It starts from you, it starts from me, and that is why in schools and in our various offices, in our places of organizations, we have rules, regulations. So if you are found corrupt, then it then means that you have devalued yourself. A major highlight of the day was administration of oaths on the members of the newly inaugurated clubs by Barrister Umar Magajinarimi and the handing over of the club banners to the schools by the secretary to the commission, Mr. Clifford Oparaoju. I, in front of you, mention the name of all your school. This day of, 23rd day of January 2024, of my pre will motivated by the need to fight corruption in whatever form, decided to join the anti corruption club of the nation or school. I do solemnly pledge that I shall be loyal, faithful. I am committed to the ideals of the club and shall abide by all the rules guiding the conduct of its members. I promise to shun all forms of corruption and unsocial behaviors and to afford the virtues of integrity, honesty, 
character in all that I do. So help me God. My name is Joseph Ebabasi, I'm from Joseph Yakasa. My name is Anchisi Victoria, I'm from Gomega Secondary School to Bell. And my name is Izzy Benedict, and I'm a student of Joseph Mabushi. Keep watching Corruption School. Welcome back. Some students of the newly inaugurated Anti Corruption Clubs shared their thoughts on the event, issues of corruption in their schools, and how they intend to engage further with the clubs. Let's listen to what they have to say. One of the things is that mission and practice of course in our schools has caused so many disorder among the students. Most students depend on examination and practice, like going to meet other lecturers or teachers to give them some schemes which are going to come out in the examination. Some students do cheat during examinations but bribe the teachers due to low funds of things or bribery and corruption in the economy. What I learned today is that we should all shun, we should all shun all forms of cor corruptions and try to embrace integrity and honesty and become a good citizen of our country. ICPC taught us that we should always be honest and I also try to exhibit that trait of honesty and I want to say a very big thank you to the ICPC. That's what I have to say. Like in the case of examination, case of examination my practice, exa um, examination my practice makes the students that indulge in it not to have like the idea and understanding on how to defend their results. So all they have is a piece of paper that has says A1 and there's nothing that they can prove that they have that A1 and how it can be stopped. Now through the um, the ICBC, the anti-corruption group formed in our schools now, we can make, we can like enlighten the students on the effects of corruption and how it's um, even though it looks sweet now, how you saw their life in the future. Corruption affects students in many ways. This one of the ways corruption affects students is by exam practice by cheating in the class or when you're having the test and you're cheating in the class, it causes corruption. And when you're in the class, you are not uh, attending, like you don't enter class, you're just staying outside of the school compound. And you expect during the exam period you, that you have the opportunity to bring up paper inside to cheat and that is also corruption. And some teachers in the school too, they are going to give you some, they have some special children that they do treat specially and they leave those many people aside. So those people, they know they are going to pass. That is a part of corruption. You know, most of us students, we leave all the works for teachers and all of that. But here I also realize that as students, we can take an active part in stopping corruption in school. Because uh, like somebody like me, I always think that students are meant to just to uh, go to school and study and finish school and go. But I also understand here that as a student, you are supposed to do what you can to stop bad habits in school. Corruption is one of the major keys that downgrades a country when it's being brought up into other countries. For instance, when we have economic development, there are some countries that cannot come out due to the fact that corruption has already been copped in their country. Like, it's, it's there. Like, it has already been forced. There are some countries that, like Nigeria, and I see that Nigeria has many corrupt practices that 
downgrades us that we cannot even come out to other nations and say, ah, this is our country, this, this is us. I, am, I, I can speak in my own aspects. I'm the kind of person that I don't like the fact that Nigeria is being corrupt and the things that is being happening. It makes me look, it makes me look down on myself when I'm outside with other people. And I cannot tell myself that I'm in Nigeria. I'm even finding ways to go out. But for the corruption to be going on like this, it makes us want to go abroad. So, but then they created their own country to be better than ours. Why can't we also join hands in fighting corruption to make a better and stronger Nigeria? There are many effects of corruption to Nigeria, like on the development on the development of the country we also have like it affects the citizens they learn corruption and this can um, also harm the youths from their studies and also um, the people from their place of work and the way that we can reduce corruption is by joining hands it's not only the icpc that must do all the work to prevent corruption also us too as patriotic um, citizens to join hands together into making uh, Nigeria develop into a better country. My name is Ayodile Dimano and I'm from Southern Drug International School. I'm Shadow of Southern from JSS BRG. I'm Fidelis Johnson from JSS Yanguji. Keep, Keep watching Corruption Moscow. School. The Anti-Corruption Club is one of the integrity outreach programs to inculcate sound moral values in students with the aim of changing their minds and behaviors positively against corruption and other social biases in the school environment, as well as their homes and every other place they might find themselves in the society. All secondary schools, both public and private, should strive to establish the anti-corruption clubs in their schools for a comprehensive education and training of the students. That's our package for today. You can send in your feedback, messages, complaints, and suggestions via our email info at icpc.gov.ng or through our smart number 0800 call ICPC. And don't forget to follow us on all our social media platforms showing on your screen. You can also watch all editions of Our Corruption Must Go on our YouTube channel, ICPC Nigeria. Thank you for watching. See you again next week. I am Murna Barnabas Atiai. Bye for now.